Hello guys and gals out there. Um, in this video tutorial, we're going to quickly talk about replicators inside of Modo. Now, I'm not going to get too in-depth with it here. I'm just going to show you how it works. And the way Modo works with replicators is the replicators work off of points or verts. And wherever there's a point will be a point of replication. So, well, I'm going to have to model something here real quick. This is not a modeling tutorial. Okay, this is just something I'm throwing together here because we need something that I can use with the replicators and this will do just fine. I'm just going to model a, I don't know, we'll just, I'll just model a little cup here real quick. Something that we can use to replicate our, or use inside of our replicator demonstration here. That looks okay. Now this is not nothing special. I'm just trying to model this real quick. And to be honest with you, I should have had this modeled before I started this video. But unfortunately, folks, I kind of started this thing on the fly. Didn't really think much about it. I said, hey, I'm going to make me a replicator video here real quick. Show my viewers how replicators work in Modo. And I didn't even really think about... have anything modeled to use it for. I mean, I guess I could have used just a common sphere, right? But, you know, that's kind of boring, I think, if you ask me. So let me just throw a little coffee mug together here really, really quickly, just so it won't be so boring to, to look at. I mean, that's kind of a rip, right? I mean, just using a sphere would be kind of... Anybody can do that, right? I think I'm almost done here. This is going to work good enough to do what we need it to do. Let me run a couple loop slices up and through here real quickly. Okay, now we have a rough coffee mug here. No big deal. I mean, if you want to go in... Now, see here I am getting all caught up on the details of this stupid coffee mug. And that's not what we're here for. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. Okay, good enough. Real quick coffee mug there. We're going to use this for replication. Let me scale it down. Okay, now we have that. We can rename it to cup. Okay, now let's get a new item. And we're going to select mesh. And this is going to give us a completely new item. So we can go in here and build something completely new. Hence the word new item. So let's go ahead and make a little plane by grabbing our cube. And drawing one out like this right here. Now remember, I said every point is going to be a point of replication. So we're going to go in and put this cup on every on, one, on every single one of these points. So now you see we have our cup and we have our ground plane. Okay. So now what do we got to do? I'm going to scale that cup down just a little bit more because it's rather big at the moment. Okay. So now, since so we got our cup and our mesh, what do we have to do? Well, I'm going to select my mesh, and I'm going to go to New Item, and I'm going to select Replicator. You'll see there's a Replicator option. Okay, now we'll throw in, it'll throw us in this pink Replicator, and it'll bring up our Replicator options. Now, I'm not going to do anything to these options. We can talk about them in a later video. What I am going to show you is just how to set it up. There's two things you need to include here, the point source and the prototype. The point source is, of course, our plane, because it has all the points on it that we want our cup to be replicated to. So our point source... We'll click that and we'll say that is our mesh because that's what our plane is. And our prototype, which is what's going to be replicated, is going to be our cup. And boom. Now as you can see, every, every one of those orange blocks represents a replicator. Now this saves. Now if I actually model, well, each one of these orange blocks represents one of those cups. Now if I actually went in and copied and pasted or modeled this many cups, my viewport would be so slow because I'd have millions of polygons. But using replicators, you can see I've got bunches of polygons, but it's acting like there's none there because there aren't any. So let's go ahead and hit our W key and let's adjust these replicators. Let's bring them over here like this. Let's bring them down. Like so. 
And now that we have all these replicators in play, we don't need that original one anymore. So I can go up here and turn the eyeball off to my cup and get rid of it. Now let's go to my render tab and zoom in here. Now as you can see, we have a cup for every single orange box. Let's zoom out here. So that's a real quick demonstration of replicators. Okay, let me give you another example of replicators. Let's get a new scene. And I'm going to use some supplied meshes that come with Moto 401. And let's use, let's see, food, jewelry, interior, hardware, let's go to vehicles, aircraft, miscellaneous spacecraft, watercraft, let's use aircraft. So now let's pick this airplane and double click it. And that will throw an airplane right out in there for us to play with. Let's go back to our model tab and zoom in here. Now we have this, let me turn off the wireframe and turn off my verts. Okay, so now we have this jet laid in there, okay? Now, last time we used a plane, uh, a flat surface with points on it to, to have as points of replication. This time let's do something different. Let's go to a new mesh, okay? I'm gonna go to my top view. Um, and now we're looking straight down on our airplane here. So, okay. So, we're in a brand new mesh now. Let's select our pen tool. And under our pen tool, under the options, we'll have several things we can pick here. Polygon, lines, subdivs. Pick vertices. And now what's going to happen is wherever I click, it's going to lay down a vert. So, let me click here. Let me click here. And I'm going to click here. Because we're going to take into account our original one. And we're going to click there. Spacebar drop it tool. Now let's go to my verts. And now as you can see when I highlight, there's those four verts. So let me turn on my vertices so you all can see them. Okay, so there they are. One, two, the little blue dots. One, two, three, four. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these as a point of replication. Instead of using geometry, I just laid down individual points using my pen tool. So again, we got our verts selected. Let's add a new item. Replicator. And the same as before, our prototype is our jet, our airplane, and our point source are the mesh with the points in it that I laid down. So under point source, we'll take mesh. And boom, as you can see now, it has laid down a jet or a replicated a jet for every point we have. Let's go to our layout tab now. Let's go to our environments. Let's look at an environment. Let's give it an environment here. Now let's go to our render tab and let's have a look at this. There we go. Now we have that easy. You know, I mean, we have five jets flying in formation. Do you know what I could charge somebody? If I wanted to just animate these jets flying across the screen in 3D. I mean, the content that comes with Moto 401 is unbelievable. You could make so much money on the stock content, it's crazy. I mean, imagine if these were cars, and you wanted to do a car spot for somebody. You know, or a local car dealership or something. Now, we, as you can see, let me hit F9 to render. And you can see now that we got, let's see, polygons, 2.43 million polygons, but... It's not showing that in the viewport because we just got our replicators. And that's how fast replicators work. Now, of course, you can go in and you can you can move these individual replicators around. It's completely up to you. Okay. So as you can see now, I can move this these individual replicators or jets wherever I want to move them. Now, I can put this one right behind them. We can put them in a line if we want to. Or in a plus formation. Put them side by side like this. You see, now I can bring this one down here. Go back to my render tab. 
and they're in a completely different formation now. Let's move this down. Back to where we had it there, because I undoed some. Undid. Undoed. What kind of word is that? Undid. So there we go. There's our four jets flying in formation now. That simple, using replicators. Um, let's get one more new scene here. Let me show you one more great method of replicators using Luxology's Splash Kit. In their Splash Kit, they have points and stuff, pre-points laid down, and it's wonderful. Let me, let me show you this stuff here. Let's see here. Let's go back to our model. As you can see, I have my presets pulled up here. Uh, we're in environments right now. And as you can see, we have all these points here. Okay? So I'm going to double click on one of these points. On some of these here. On one of these. Let's see, which one could it be? Which one could it be? This in here looks... This in here looks okay. We'll double click it. And now, as you can see, that laid that down. But all we're getting is a boatload of points and you can you could lay these points down yourself using the pin tool like I showed you okay that's all we got is a bunch of points okay so I need to replicate something on to these points and what I'm going to use to replicate onto these points is a drop of water and there are drops of water inside the presets inside of Luxology so let me go ahead and pick a drop of water and double click it now I threw a drop of water into the scene there's our little drop of water right there. Okay, you can see over here I have a flying uh, drop of water and my points. So now we have my points and my drop of water. So now let's go ahead and since we have my points selected, let's add a new item. You guessed it, replicator. Our point source is our points. And our prototype is our drop of water. And boom. Now we have... Now we have a replicator replicating that flying water droplet. Okay, let's go to our render tab. Now this is just, I'm not showing you how to set this up. I'm just showing you the great uses for replicators. Okay, now we have this. We want to give it a, a material. So I'm going to give this dra drag and drop this slot ripple material, which comes with every single copy of Modo. Okay. Okay, zoom in here. Do, 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 do. So we I have no, as you can see, I have no, you know, global illumination turned on or nothing of that, nothing of the sort. Now I just turned global illumination on. Turned it off. So as you can see, using replicators, there is it, it, it the options are just so overwhelming you can do so much stuff look how quickly we threw together uh jets flying in formation or how quickly i threw together this little water scene here um it it, it is truly truly a marvelous marvelous tool and with these new kits luxology is introducing oh man like this new splash kit it's just absolutely wonderful absolutely Wonderful. Let me show you a few pictures I've made with it using replicators. Here's one. Uh, let's find another one. Here's one. All these were made with replicators inside of the splash kit, inside of Modo. Here's another one. And here's one. And here's one. You know, all these are 3D models inside of Modo. And I th I'm really impressed with it. As you can see here, the type of water we threw together in no time here for it. This would be a great product shot. So, there's your replicators. I really hope you took something from this. Check them out. Get into them and use them because they're there to be used. And let me tell you what, they are a powerful piece of equipment. And now that I know how to use them and, and they've introduced them, I, I can't. I can't make a large scene without them. You know, this is 4.6 million polygons, and 
replicators just makes it that much better. And here's all of our previous scenes. There's the scene I rendered out before, as you can see. Here's another one. And here's one. You know, and these are all fake, just modeled in 3D inside of Moto. So there you go, guys. So um, I hope you've learned something. I hope you took something from this. And uh, we'll see you next time.